Hey everybody, it's Panther and welcome back to The Balance Suite and this is simply a place where we can embark on a journey together to find and maintain spiritual, intellectual, and physical balance. And that makes for a cool acronym, SIP. And yes, although we love the SIP, today we're focusing on what contains the SIP. I'm talking about ceramics, I'm talking about pottery. Today I am taking a pottery class and that just brings me back to the time in my childhood when I was into arts and crafts I didn't have any bills and life was simple and then adulting kicks in You get hit with tons of bills and responsibilities and the stresses start to kick in and you get tainted by the ways of the world and oh my gosh and I think yes as an adult you have to take care of your responsibilities that's just life but it's very important to make sure you create balance in your life. Make sure you tap into that inner child and continue to do the things that you enjoy doing. Continue to explore and try new things and that's what I'm gonna do today. I am a big kid today and I don't care about my taxes coming up, all these bills. Okay. I'm simply going to enjoy being a big kid, play with some dough and love every single moment of it. So I've arrived at Chaplet Ceramic Studios here in Williamsburg. So let's head on in. I'm about to take my first lesson. So let's get started and yeah, let's get down and dirty. Okay. Step one, grab Step the clay. One. I am grabbing And the clay. throw it into the center as best you can. You want to do it pretty I want, hard. Oh, oh, okay. I'm scared, I'm scared. Nice. Okay. Now you can seal the base by going like that. All around all like around. that? Okay, I'm sealing the base. See, I had more ambition, but then after the instructions, I'm like, I just want to make something that stands up at the end. <laughs> now you want to get the clay nice and wet, and you can turn the wheel on by like a car, just pushing it down. Okay. And you can get the wheel going pretty fast okay, for fast. the centering process. And then once you find the speed you mm -hmm. like, you can just take your foot off of the pedal. That's okay, what I so find that's, best. So this is the speed? It's good or a little more? I do a little faster. Right there is good. Right there? Yeah. Oh, cool. So get the clay nice and wet. This one? Squeeze the sponge? Yeah. Uh, over the clay, just okay. to, like get it nice and wet. That's the, honestly the fastest way to just soak the clay. Oh, and it's so a top, so. hand, one on the top, and you're gonna sort of push the side hand in this oh. direction. You're gonna be pushing this way, and then the top hand is gonna push down. Okay. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. And down and, and that top. way. Yep, top hand is gonna push straight down. Yes. Oh! Nice. Nope, oh, it's starting to wobble. <laughs> Usually when wobbling is happening, you're going, you're moving your hands too fast, but your hands look like you're going oh. great speed. So I think that it's just all part of the centering process. You're just oh. not like perfectly centered, which is why the wobble is there. But gotcha. keep doing what you're doing, honestly, it looks really good. Um, you're just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, slowly hand oh, oh, I keep forgetting so. Okay, slow, I, slow, I, I, I slow. I want you to take your hands away because I'm pretty sure it's centered. And sometimes, yeah, it looks really good. So like, you don't want to like keep working it once it's centered, honestly. Okay. You just like, just slowly, slowly, slowly take it away. It's almost like when you say that, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my God, what did I do? Next okay. time I'll say fast, take your hands away. All right, and now you're gonna want to move into like a claw finger like this. Like this. And a hand on the outside, and that claw finger is gonna bring this out. Okay, and, and claw. Sweet. All right, 
blow away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of at the point where you can start like pulling up the wall. So this is where we do the begging dog thing I was talking about. So really Ooh. wet fingers. Okay. Um, and you're kind of kind of pinch with consistent pressure. Push your fingers together, starting at the base, and then slowly coming up here. Okay, I was asking you if you think of any particular breed of dog. Like... <laughs> Maybe like an Italian Greyhound? No, 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 no. Oh, it looks so good, it's like a little dish. You put like your keys in it or something. So once you start to feel satisfied with the shape, I would try to stop sooner rather than later. I've done this so many times where I want to just perfect it even more and more and more and then it just gets ripped. Not me, I'm just trying to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna slice this off of the wheel now. Okay. okay, okay. And then we can move on to your next piece. Okay. There it is. A one of one. <laughs> Now I'm working on my next piece, and I was really starting to make some progress, and then this happened. Oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, we should stop while we were ahead. Yeah, I, I didn't see that point, honestly. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. I'll be ready to go. Okay, Okay, so I just finished up my lesson with Catherine and she was amazing. If you guys want to get better at pottery, definitely, definitely, I highly recommend Catherine. Hi everybody, my name is Catherine. I work at Show Play Ceramic Studio in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. So if you're in the Brooklyn area, New York area, and you've been thinking about maybe trying pottery, I teach beginner wheel throwing classes. You can call up Show Play. It's say that you want to sign up for a one-time private class. My name's Catherine with a K. You can ask for me. This is one of Catherine's beautiful pieces, and she was also kind enough to give us a behind-the-scenes tour of the studio. Bye. Bye. Now for the reveal. It's not perfect, but the key is to embrace and even celebrate your imperfections. And I love this beautifully flawed amateur piece because it's a symbol and a representation of my inner peace and joy. I had such a blast. Now I don't know what I'll use it for, but I'll figure that out later. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this super cool pottery adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you. I love you neighbors and may peace be with you.